So hey guys, welcome back to my channel for tutorials. So guys, today I'll teach you how to create new and cool ball dynamic animation with using Blender. Guys, I'm not using any third party add-on for this tutorial. So guys, I show you my final render preview. So guys now select all asset and press delete key. So first of all guys I am going to take a cylinder. This one UV cylinder check. So guys go to on here. Segments I like guys take a 300. For more smoothness and radius increase. I like uh, guys 3. Ok guys more like 3.5. And height. Guys height is good. And guys now go to on here. Fill cap use nothing. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, also you can use delete this front face. So go to on edit mode and guys select face and use delete. So press delete air face check. Yes, that's it, guys. And guys, now select this one and press one. So guys, go to on up and go to on up like this, like a one. Okay, so now guys, I increase thickness. Go to on here. I use solidifier and solidifier check. So, guys, solidifier 0.1 and yeah, good. And guys, apply. Okay, so now, guys, this time I apply this time like a wheel. So, use here and up. So, guys, change size like this. So, guys, go to on here. Size like a 0.1 and increase. This one height like a three, yeah, good. See, guys, that's my simple shape. And now, guys, I create whole effect. So, use this time cylinder, cylinder check, and change position. So, guys, segments like a 64 and radius change like a 0.2, actually, more 0.3. Yeah, 0.3 is good. And guys, rotation change. So, height I like one. And rotation change like a 90. Enter. So, guys, press 1, actually 3. So, click on here and check. So, guys, go to on here like this. Right? See, guys, that's my shape. So, now, guys, I take one more shape. So, press Ctrl C and V. So, go to on here. Yeah, select both and press Ctrl C and V. Go to on here. Yes, see guys, that's my simple shape. And now guys, I create boolean effect. So guys, select this one. And guys, you can join. So right click, join, check. So guys, select this plane. This one actually cube. And go to on here. I use boolean. And object, I like this one. Yes. And go to on here. Guys, you can hide this pair, this one. Hide. See guys, that's my whole effect. Right? And guys, now select this cube. So apply, check. And guys, you can delete this whole work. Select this one, select the D. Yes. Right? See, that's my effect. Okay, so guys, now next one. I take this time again, cylinder. So guys, increase height like a 3. And guys, radius 0 0.1. So go to an up. Guys, increase height like this. And change height. Yeah, good. And little bit up. Yes, good. See guys, that my simple shape. And now, guys, select this one. And I apply this time bevel effect. So, use bevel. So, guys, go to an amount. I will change. Like this. And increase segments. I like 5. And apply check yes okay so now guys this time i create rotation animation so guys select this one and this one so guys you can use null object i like null object so guys select this one and drag and drop select this cube drag and drop on empty object so guys select this empty object and rotate like this right 
I create rotation like this. So guys, zero. And guys, I increase frame. Frame, I like 600 frames. 600. So guys, rotation check. And go to our last. So rotation 1440. Check. And guys, select your key. And press T and use liner check. Yeah. So guys, play. Yeah, that's my simple rotate view. Rotate animation. Right. And guys, now stop. So guys, all is good. And guys, next one. I apply simple spare. Guys, you can use Ico spare and UV spare. It's depending on your work. So I use UV spare check. Guys, you can change segments like a 28. And guys, 26 is good. And right click shade smoother. And guys, I change scale size. Scale size change like this. Guys, like a more skin size. Yeah, good. It's good. And guys, now I take plane. So I increase plane size. Yeah, good. And guys, select this one. So guys, I apply this time rigid body tag. So guys, select this pair. And I create new collection. This one. And go to on here. So rigid body check. And type I use active. And mass one is good. And shape I like spherical. Spherical check and guys friction friction is good and bounce is good. Okay, so now I select this one and that's my cylinder and rigid body check and use passive. So guys see that's my shape. I use mesh and play. Yeah, good. And guys now next one select this one. So apply same rigid body and passive. So guys animation check because I create animation. So guys, use this time here, mash and play. Yeah, good. Right, see guys, that's my simple shape effect. Okay, so guys, now next one, select this one. And guys, same passive. And guys, it's not actually, it's an animation check. So I like spherical to so use cylinder. Yes. Okay, so guys, my work is good. And play yeah and guys now i apply more spare so guys select this one and i apply this time use array so guys press 7 and see guys that's my shape so guys factor increase like a 1.5 and count increase increase like this guys if your system configuration is better you can increase more but 15 is good and guys apply more array so guys i change this one factor mid one 1.5 actually little bit change like a 1.3 is good and increase count count like this go to a mid here guys like a 13 is good and go to a mid here yes good Okay, so guys, I increase height. So guys, height increase. Array. And guys, 0 press 1. Here. Yeah. That's my front view panel. And like a 1.5. Yes, and count increase. Guys, count I like 20. For more balls. See guys, right? Guys, you can increase more. Count is depending on system configuration. Like a 40. Yeah, it's good. See guys, that's my lots of spare. Right? See. Okay, so guys, 40 is good. And guys, all apply. And apply. And apply. Yes. Good. And guys, now, I create separate. So guys, select this pair. And go to an edit mode. Edit mode check. And guys, select this vertex. So click on here, vertex check and press P and lose part check. Yeah, good. Right, see guys, that's my lose part. And guys, now again, this time, guys, select all. Actually, object mode. And guys, select all. Select. Yes. And second one, guys, select this one, collection. Here, collection. And right click, guys, select object. So guys go to an object here and set origin and origin to geometry check. Guys see that's my center pivot. 
yeah see guys that's my center pivot right and guys now press one so guys i change position so position up like this yeah great so guys now i take camera so guys little bit change position guys this position is good and now guys i take camera camera check so guys set your camera angle so guys control alt and press zero and guys change camera angle so guys select your camera change collection on top so guys go to on here view and check and little bit change position like this and down yes see guys that's my position is good and uncheck yeah great okay see guys that's my camera angle and now guys go to on here and see guys that's my screen so go to on rigid body world so guys catch it and guys see that's my simulation i like 600 and guys see that's my bake all dynamic check guys take a lots of time for baking because that's my so much heavy particles so bake all dynamic check guys i stop this baking on here so i will apply rigid body tag collision tag on this plane so guys go to our bank delete bake all delete all bake check and guys select this one plane so go to on here and rigid body so guys type i like passive so guys use mash check yes and again go to on screen and go to on here catch it and bake all dynamic check yes that's it guys so guys wait for baking okay so guys my baking is finished and now guys play yeah it's looking really good see guys that's my beautiful animation rigid body world right okay so guys next one i apply beautiful materials yeah great see guys that's my like a 10000 ball animations i really like this animation okay so guys now i apply material so guys select your first spare and go to on shading so i create new material yeah and guys closer so guys shift a and guys type color ramp select color ramp and connect to base color like this and guys now next one to go to on here so guys i create more this one checker box so guys click and click like uh, guys i take five different different style of color and guys now shift a and use object info so guys connect to this one like this okay so guys now you can apply this time any color so guys i have color pattern so go to on here see guys that's my color palette so guys you can apply any different style of colors depending on your work so i like this one this color palette so click and guys select this one so select and double click so guys go to one here and paste like this and guys select this one second one and apply this color okay so guys i apply all color so use this time this one yeah and guys now select your first pair so guys go to one here layout and guys holding shift key and select all so go to on object and guys go to on link here and link material check yeah and again go to on shading see guys that's my beautiful color right see and guys now so go to on back guys i apply material for this one so i like white material on this one cylinder so guys change roughness so a roughness i like 0.35 and guys select this one i like pink material so guys see that's my like a pink material and copy select this one and guys go to on color so paste check yeah so guys select this one flow and i take same color same pink color 
yeah so guys select this one cylinder and i take this time light blue light blue check so guys i create new material and change color paste and roughness is good yes okay so guys i apply materials on all object so click on here and guys now i apply hdr image and lighting so environment texture check so guys you can apply any environment texture light is depending on your work so i like this one and paste and also guys i use light so guys i use area light area light check and click on here so go to an up area light and guys i change setting so guys power like a 200 and size i like 5 yeah good and guys go to on camera and play yes see guys that's my beautiful texture and beautiful work and guys now so i show you my simple one frame render so go to on here and i use cycle render divide gpu check and guys sap i like 256 is good for me so 256 is good and render and render image check yeah see guys that's my beautiful material and beautiful work dynamic effect so guys close and again go to and play yes great okay so guys my work is finished and now guys stop go to on here frame rate 30 fps and output so i create new folder like this and take any file name except check so guys go to a back and render and render animation check okay so guys that's it my work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you